busted our We've worked harder than anybody to get here. Nobody can beat us in a team, and it's worth 70000 The Dolphins and the Redskins traded scores in the first half. Miami taking a 17-10 lead into halftime on the strength of a Fulton Walker 98-yard kickoff return. In the tense locker room, Redskins return man Mike Nelms had dreams of answering what Walker did. I fell asleep. I landed in my locker and you would never think that you could fall asleep as nervous as I was. But I fell asleep. I think it was Donnie Warren came by and kicked me on the foot. Nelms, Nelms, wake up. It's time to go back out. Okay. Ooh, ooh, Super Bowl. Yeah. The dog-tired Redskins could only manage a field goal in the third quarter. Thankfully, the defense did not allow Miami to complete a pass the entire second half. Still, Washington trailed 17-13 to with just over 10 minutes on the clock. We had felt, Coach Gibbs had said, if we can take this game close into the fourth quarter, we're going to wear them out because our guys were just gro- road graders up front. We could wear them down, and we would ultimately be able to run the football against them. That's exactly the way it went. Redskins ball on the Miami 42. Fourth down, a yard to go. And they'll put in the the big man as Coach Joe Gibbs elects to gamble here. He's going to go for his first down. There they go. Otis Wansley, 39, comes in to block. Three tight ends in the game. Walker, Didier, Warren. The power back, Riggins. <laughs> Got enough horses to pull a wagon in there, Dick. Now, there were 100,000 people that were there at the game. They knew. And how many countless millions they knew. I mean, everybody knew what we were going to do. And the Dolphins call timeout. Now, after seeing their honest intent to go for the first down, Bill Arnsparger wants to talk it over with his defensive unit. I write, that was a signal. Fake zoom. 70 chip was the play. I'm chip. Yeah, I'm chip. 70 chip ran right over the back of Joe Jacoby and Russ Grimm. What we do is we run Clint Didier in motion back and, cross, uh, back and forth across the formation so that everybody can see who has who every, as far as blocking alignments go. He started motion this side to get the safety to start running. We turned around, went back, and we're going off tackle. So we secure the point of attack. Otis comes in, wipes out the linebacker, and you leave the safety for JR. And he either runs the guy over or the guy stops it. And that's the way the play is designed. Designed to get a few tough yards. Riggins had other plans. Yellow 41! Yellow 41! Riggins. John goes in the end zone, and the place is pandemonium. It was just one of those plays that everything fell into place, and uh, the fact that Don McNeil had slipped a little bit kept him from getting, you know, a really clean shot at me. I saw the linebacker coming, so giving John an opportunity to get around there, I just jumped over her with that guy and got the linebacker, and then left one guy left, and that was, you know, the safety coming up. Next thing I hear, the horn. You know, and you're getting up looking, and I see this guy grabbing on for dear life, and JR, you know, stiff arm and taking off. And I just hear that horn. It's always one of those great feelings when, uh, you know, you, you make a block and you hear the roar and you look up and you can just see 44 going down the side. Yeah, it was beautiful. And when you watch it today, when they could put that camera right in his helmet and see his face running down that, that side right Just my part of history here, I'd say that's the play risk in history for me anyway because it gave us you know the first Super Bowl win. <laughs>